Henry is the best player in Man 23, hands down. Two tournament wins out of three is just an amazing statistic. Especially with his performance last year, he has to be the best player right now. By far, it's not even close. And a part of that is his dynamic offense. I'm going to show you six plays in this video right now that, in my opinion, make his offense the best in the game. Let's get into it. First, we have to talk about which playbook he's using. He's running the Colts playbook, Indianapolis Colts on offense. And the reason for that is this tight slots HP week and also the bunch of offset. He always comes out in bunch audibles to tie it off set uh, to test slots HP week my bad and quick snaps he just he audibles he makes two hot routes and then he snaps the ball it's very important you guys do that so before doing anything get into the mindset of audibling and then snapping the ball as fast as possible let's get into his audibles first because obviously that's going to determine which plays we have at our disposal we want flood inside zone four verticals and mesh spot also you guys i want to make sure you guys know this i have this all in written uh, in written down format you can check out the google link down below hit that up totally for free just so you have it all in one uh, place so you can just look at it when you're playing a game if you're not sure about a specific setup there you go you can see that the reason why i like kendra's offense so much is because it is fast paced it is high powered and also it has predetermined setups so what this allows you to do is you have an advantage you know what you're going to do and basically whenever you audible your opponent has about six seconds or seven seconds to make his adjustments and he has to bet like there is no way that uh, there is one defense that stops all of this you just have to get the reads down which is just repetition but he has to guess and you can really screw him up with that of course this bunch offset i'm not going to get into it but has some amazing plays double post bunch trail uh, z spot curl flat flood verticals and mesh post my goodness it is amazing he was not running any bunch of offset this tournament so i'm not going to show it but it has some great plays also that you might want to dabble in now once again audibles flood four verticals mesh spot let's now talk about our personnel so what henry was using and actually let me pull this up real quick i'm not going to get into henry's abilities on the offensive line as they didn't really show that but for his skill position players, he had Tom Brady with Gunslinger, which is zero AP, Fearless for four AP, and Hot Rod Master for two AP. That's all you need. Then Hill, he had Taysom Hill at the tight end position, zero AP for short in Elite. By the way, this is all going to be written down in the document. CD Lamb for zero AP, short in Elite, two AP, short out Elite. The reason why short out Elite uh, is good, I'll tell you that in a second. Uh, Plaxico Burris, I about said Hannibal Burris, who's a great comedian, you guys want to check him out. But he has short in the lead for 1 AP, and Herman Moore, short out of lead for 2, short in the lead for 1. And the way that he set it up is that he had, uh, right here he had uh, CD Lamb, and then on the other side he had uh, Herman Moore. Basically the outside receiver positions, that's where you want to have your short in the lead, and uh, short out of the lead. And the reason for that is if I now just go into... Um, where's HP under and I go into cover one hole you will see that uh, Debo Samuel I can't show his abilities right now but he has short out lead and then I'm just going to press not gonna shade anywhere this is an automatic oops I got shed uh, but we'll go into the instant replay and I'll show you this. this is an automatic win against press man coverage so if you have that on both sides of the field at these outside positions as right there you can see we get pressed then he lights up and he gets a step like that's that's about as easy as it gets let's try this one more time i just want to get one completion on the board you will see uh that this works on streaks this works on post this works on corner routes. any basically any route that has a vertical stem you'll get a step if they run press man coverage and don't shade over the top any sh uh, other shade then over the top you got it now with that in mind that is why they have why he has that short out lead i basically just ramble through this as fast as possible just because I don't want to waste your guys' time. And if it's more free-flowing, then I think it's also more entertaining. So cover three, Sky, we'll call that. And remember, we're going to come out in bunch, audible over to tight slash HP, which is just square, and then right on the D-pad once. And then you can make your call. We'll start off by mesh spot. I'll run the first setup once, and then I'll just come out in tight slots HP week so we don't have to do the audibling all the time. But just think in your head, come out in bunch, and then audible over to it really quickly. So you're going to flat Samuel, put Taysom Hill on an out route. You're going to slant number 88 Harrison, and you're going to put uh, Smith Sr. on a post. That's it. You're going to snap the ball, and the first read you're going to make is going to be this running back route on his wheel route. It's amazing. It gets in a nice spot. We've known this route is very good for a while. Uh, I'll just call it from the formation screen. And here we go. So we're going to call the spot. 
once again, Kirby 3 is kind of audible in between the different coverages just to make sure that you guys see how good this is. And the main point of this is this looks terrible. I mean, it doesn't look terrible, but this does not look good to me intuitively. But you have to think that there's a user on the other side of the field. There are a lot of windows where you can throw the ball into. Next window is going to be this slant. Beautiful job, gets open against zone. Also, I'm going to talk about man in a second. This play really thrives on being able to beat man coverage and zone coverage in a variety of ways. So this is the, uh, the power play of this formation, basically. And you're just going to make the read. In this case, I'm just going to hit the slant over and over again. Let's now call this against the cover two. You'll see that a cover two does a little bit of a better job against this, but also not really. So I'll snap the ball and I'll be able to make the read. In this case, I'm just going to hit the flat on the outside. Remember that flat is there also. It's going to be there just about all the time. Important for you guys though, uh, is if I just can, oh, if I can make my adjustments, is to put uh, Smith Senior on it, the hot rod master post and not keep him on his regular post. Because now I'm gonna show you this against man coverage. You will notice uh, that this post wins. Like that was a pretty bad throw by Tom Brady. I don't know why he sailed it that much. But that was the hot rod master post. Now let's watch this in comparison uh, to the regular post. So I'll snap the ball and you will see we're just absolutely bagged on that circle rod. There is no way we can throw that. <laughs> Best of luck uh, trying to get that open. So that is why it is important you have uh, the hot rod master post there. Of course, against man coverage and also maybe against cover three, if he gets outside of there, you can also look to hit the uh, tight end out route. That is about as much time as I want to spend uh, on this play. I'm going to run it against man coverage one more time. So I snap the ball and now you see that uh, Smith Sr. gets open again. Beautiful play. That's it. You've heard enough. Let's now go to our next setup. And this next setup is perfect for quick hiking. We're going to streak square and we're going to, oops, uh, and we're going to put buyers on a flat route. This running back flat route. And we're going to read double drags or we can also look to hit uh, buyers out of the backfield real soon. Let's just say that the opponent has zone drops on. Then that's a uh, great route for you to hit. Great also because we're only using two adjustments. So right now I snap the ball. I can also hit that drag. It's important to, t uh, to take the check down. So then when they become a little bit antsy and maybe shade down or something. I should just shade it down right there. Uh, then that is the time where you can look to hit the post route and get a lot of yards provided that that, that is not user. Now, I can only uh, keep reiterating that this is important for you to quick snap because, I mean, this is just the simplest route combo. Oops, I made a bad read. Uh, this is the simplest route combo you can imagine. And it's great uh, for putting it out there really quickly. And the important thing about this is that all of these plays can be defended, of course. There's no such thing as an unguardable play in Madden. But because you're doing it in such a fast-paced manner, you hurry up a lot, you make sure you get to the line quickly, snap the ball. Oh, voice crack. Uh, it's difficult for your opponent to adjust to it, so that's basically the point of this offense. I'm going to run this one more time, and that is basically going to be it for... Uh, mesh spot once again we only have two plays the simplicity of this offense is uh, what I like about it so much let's now come out in flood and let's now run our our other setups so flood will come out in that I will come out in cover three sky and first setup for this one is going to be very simple we're going to streak Debo Samuel and we're going to put Smith senior on a post that's it then we're going to snap the ball first read check it down to the running back pick it up easy eight uh, eight to nine yards right there beautiful that's all we need once again notice the simplicity two hot routes we're going to streak samuel put smith senior on the post oh the tight end just got knocked down but we can hit that uh, corner out important for that one i didn't freeform it but sometimes you'll get it out of bounds even without a freeform but you should basically never free from that route like honestly just about never free from it right there i got sacked damn but you guys see uh the simplicity of this play is once again immaculate the post uh, from the circle receiver is pretty much just there to uh, be open if the user vacates that area it's not something that i would look to most of the time the main read on this is going to be the running back out of the backfield the tight end on his drag even though i've noticed that he sometimes gets knocked down in this formation which is not amazing but overall very nice very simple play gonna run one more time and i want to show you guys a little bit of a wrinkle so let's pretend that we're playing a lot of cover two we're playing some db fire two out of dollar 
I still recommend running the five out, but we're going to run it a little bit differently. So we're going to put Samuel on a corner and Harrison on a streak. And then we also run the backside post just like so. Then we snap the ball and you see, oops, oops, we got shedded. Uh, but we'll run this again. Cover two on defense. This is how the play looks. We'll snap the ball. Let's try not to get shed. Thank you. And now we throw this into Debo Samuel. We get the possession catch. Very easy. Just a little minor wrinkle uh, that you guys can make versus cover two. But that's basically it for that setup. Let's now move on to the next setup, which has a lot of tight end angle into it, uh, in it. If you guys remember, uh, single back to close has a play called tight end angle. It's a great play. It's a great play. And we're kind of using that concept. We're once again streaking square putting circle on the drag so it looks like this now we have two drags so it doesn't really make sense so we're going to put our tight end on a trail route so it looks like this we're going to snap the ball first read the running back second read the drag then if we get enough time we can look to hit the corner up. the same principle versus cover two applies where you can flip who's on the corner and, who, and who's on the streak same principle applies we're just changing the back uh, the routes on the back side so we'll run this play just like this Again, if the user vacates the middle of the field, then you can look to hit the tight end angle route. That also is an option for you, but I can't really uh, break this down enough. Please make sure to hit the running back. If you see that, take it, take it. Like if you have someone like Byers right there, beautiful. He's one of the best, he, one of the best. He's the best running back uh, in the game, in my opinion. Uh, also because of his, his receiving qualities. So if you can get him the ball in space, that is, that is a big win for you. We just keep getting those out of bounds. I don't like uh, that Harrison is doing that. But overall, there you go. We have a nice little tight end angle concept. The tight end angle also does a good job of beating man coverage. I probably should uh, run this a little more against man coverage because the beauty of this is all of these plays are able to beat man and also are able to beat zone. So cover two man, I'll shade over the top for this one. I run the play just like this. You will see how the angle rod wins and the corner rod also wins. Right there, that was a bad play by me. I threw that way too late. But the corner rod wins against man coverage. The angle wins against man coverage. And the drag also has a chance of winning against man coverage. This is more so a zone play. But also, we still have two routes that break at very different uh, like levels that are difficult, to, basically impossible to use uh, because they're so far apart. And they do a great job against man. So very very nice play design by henry right here snap the ball you see now we can throw that tight end angle route easy completion across the middle of the field you basically can't miss it like if you're looking for it so nice play versus cover to uh, man and also against zone next play once again we're talking out of flood and this one we're also gonna run against cover three remember we're gonna audible from bunch to this and quick hike it. For this one, we're going to put circle on an out route. We're going to put a tight end on a, on a corner route just like so. And then we're going to put buyers on this angle route. This is meant to specifically attack, and maybe I, I should uh, switch defenses for this. This is meant to specifically attack cover two blitzing. So if we come out against, uh, if we play someone like in dollar, this is a great play against them. So we're going to come out in dollar, DB fire two baseline press because this takes away and uh, not takes away but this takes advantage of every weak spot in this uh, defense so for example if we take the time something will be open like we're just flooding the middle of the field and something has to be guarded we can throw the corner out if let's say this is our user ted hendrix and he just kind of he drops down to cover the running back on his angle run which i'll set up the play just like so then the quick read is going to be to that corner out. We can hit that corner out in front of that safety. It's not going to get knocked out by deep, uh, deep out zone KO. Beautiful job. I'm going to man up uh, Ted Hendricks again just to really like show you how open the read gets. Um, so right there you can see we get a little bit of time and that little bit of time should be enough to make the read. Of course against Dollar, what I recommend is to just run the ball. Like run the ball right there. <laughs> that was not the best look. But Dollar can get run on so you can also try to do that then if we get enough time for example let's just really try to get time right there we didn't you see that square is open down the middle of the field pretty easily that's also a thing that you can look for for example let's say uh, they're only blitzing four because i don't know why they would do that but let's just say they do and then we try to id that guy over here 
just praying to God that the pressure gets picked up, which it doesn't. But let's just say that we get time against cover two, then we also have to post. Okay, let's let's settle on that. The idea of this play is also just for it to be a quick read. Now, the last play in this is basically a double corner out co uh, concept. So we're going to streak square, going to streak X, put Smith on a corner out, and put uh, Keith Byers on an angle route across the middle of the field. This is if you can get time. This is not the best against Dollar, obviously, but also against Dollar you have this check down option to Keith Byers. That's also av available to you. But as a general rule of thumb, this play kind of takes a while to develop. So I'm not really sure if I would call this against Dollar all that often. But it is, a, is, an, it is an option if you get time. Like if you have a little bit of time, uh, you can look to hit that. As right now, I'll try to spy the rush just to uh, show the excuse me, just to show the corner routes get open. So it looks like this. We have the double streaks and the double corner routes. And obviously this is going to work. Like right there, we can even look to freeform uh, the ball to Taysom Hill because he's so fast. That was a funny tackle animation. But you guys see, it's open. It's something that you can throw. That is the last setup out of Excuse me, that is the last setup out of Flood. Let's now talk about one setup that he ran out of four verticals. But he ran it so much that I feel like it's it's just a great zone beater. So, cover three by spy. This is basically the wrinkle in the offense that is basically to change the look for the opponent. We're going to put Samuel on a crosser. We're going to put a running back Keith Byers on a streak. Make sure that he's not motion because if he's motion, then there you go. He goes out of the backfield. So, make sure that... Now you get his regular streak. As right there, I think I might have messed it up because now if I do this, yeah, right, I got to reset the play. Uh, make sure he's on this this kind of angle out streak. There you go. That's what I meant to say. And then back we're going to put Smith Sr. on a streak. First of all, Smith Sr. gets into a nice tender area where we can uh, look to hit him. Right there, that looked pretty bad, but in this case, I would hit the crossing route over the top and what you have to kind of keep in mind is that this all, all of these plays are made uh to beat a user like right there you see how that crosser gets into a nice vulnerable area where the user is going to have to choose between the hitch or uh, the crossing route and basically let's just say that they completely surrender control of this r1 guy we can also look to hit him in the scene there you go that's a chance for a completion but this is just a little bit of a change up because this looks way different from all the other plays that we've shown or that I've showed you. It's right there. Aggressive catch. Just make sure that we don't get that ball knocked out. You can see how great of a play this is. This is... And the beauty of this offense is that it works pretty much anywhere on the field. Let's just say we go down to the 15 and I want to run this play. I definitely can. Like, there still is a shot of, that getting, of this getting open. It's right there. You see... I can just play maker that guy. Actually, this maybe was not the best example. I want to show you a different play. I just also wanted to point out that uh, this can be run at this part of the field as well. Let's just say we want to run our first play that I showed you. The very basic uh, slant to out is right there. You see all of these plays. They are not all vertical down the field. They also have a lot of compatibility with stretching the field horizontally, which means that it's a good play in the red zone. So once again, Right there, that is actually. I just make sure I just uh, completely uh, drew that up, from, uh, that play up from the beginning. Uh, but you guys see, we get into the end zone. If it's, the sooner you can snap the ball, the better. This is gonna frustrate your opponents a lot, believe me. Like this is gonna be. Actually, I wanted to show you another play of this. And uh, this is gonna frustrate your opponent. You're gonna get a lot of rage quits. Basically, if you have two drives where you do this and you always hurry up and you uh, just keep your foot on the gas. <laughs> it's not you're not gonna have to, the games are not gonna be that long so we're gonna call birds hp on and let's call cover three again and all you're gonna do for this is you're gonna streak buyers this is a great red zone play because it gets in right here and i want to show you why you want to streak it uh when you want to streak the running back and not wheel him so for example now will him and you see that now he gets kind of into this zone where it's a little tighter I just completed that because I didn't click on. But if you have a knockout there, that's for sure an incompletion. If you're unlucky and that guy has pick artist, uh, then you might also have a pick. Also, you see that the streak just doesn't get recognized as well. So that is why I recommend running that. If you want to, you can also look to hit Taysom Hill right here in the back of the end zone. Of course, cover three is a very bad coverage. There are a lot of windows in it. We can also, if we want to uh, wait a little bit longer, you can see how... 
Harrison. He just dropped that right there, but there's a window you can try to hit uh, hit that uh, throw in as well. If you want to have someone like, <clears throat> for example, Black Plaxico Burris. There you go. Once again, high point, beautiful play in the red zone. Uh, once again, remember to streak, not to wheel them. So streak on triangle, and it's just such an effective out, man. It's so effective. If you throw it a little bit earlier, then you still have a chance to make a miss. For example, if you throw it right here, throw it right there, and you can try to make a miss. But as a general rule of thumb, that is it for the entire book. I know it's simple. Uh, if you want to, once again, have this all written down, like I have, I have my notes right here. I've got it written, written down way more beautifully in a, a PDF document. Actually, I'll show it on screen right here. So right there, check it out. Uh, you can get that downloaded in the description if you want to see me make an entire version of this ebook for the bunch so that you can also have some place that you can go to out of bunch then let me know in the comments below maybe i'll just do that uh, for you to buy it maybe if you want to buy me a coffee for two bucks or something like that you can do that but yeah i'm out of here i appreciate the support i want to keep uploading a little bit more as now the season is over and i kind of have a month uh, where i don't have to do anything for college so that's good Hopefully I can keep bringing you guys these videos. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Till next time. Peace out.